Warm welcome here in Miramas. Um, we are uh, here to drive um, several cars, but first my name. My name is Marco Schmidt. I'm head of the functional integration for the BMW 5 Series. And we're really proud to present you two of our top cars, electric cars today. We have on the one hand the eDrive 40, i5 eDrive 40 with 250 kV power and with a maximum e-range of 582 kilometers in VLTP. And on the other hand, we have our um, performance car, the i5 M60 xDrive with 440 kilowatts, close to 600 PS and uh, e-range of maximum 516 kilometers in VLTP. And you have today the chance to drive several courses with dynamic features and experience, but also on the highway uh, where you maybe have some time to relax during driving. But before we go in technical details, some step back in the history of the 5 Series. So here in the corner you see the birth of the 5 Series was 1972 with the first generation. And we are now starting this year with the eighth generation of the 5 Series. We have built up to now 10 million units of this car, and you know it's one of it's the most po popular 5 Series uh, business limousine in the world. Key facts this year, we are in an important phase. In summer, we start serial production of the car, and in October, we will have the market launch, um, and um, more details will come up end of May. We come later to this topic. The main topics during the development for sure is, you see it here in the left hand corner of the design. Um, unfortunately, you can just drive it with camouflage. Even it's better than to have a cover over it. But uh, as I said before, end of May, you see it without camouflage. So beside the design, you know the 5 Series as the popular business limousine has a lot of digital features. We step now from um, the 8.0 version operating system to 8.5 with a quick select on the left hand side and a very much simplified user interface so that you have the things what you need in focus and you can configure that how you ever need that. Also very important for us is our flexible drivetrain architecture. Today you only drive the full electric cars, but as we did it in the technology open development for the architecture, you can buy in the same car combustion engines, diesel as gasoline, a PHEV or a full electric car. And you always get a perfect five series car without compromises in headrest or uh, storage uh, for your luggage or something like that. One additional point which was or is still important for us, you know this from the combustion world, efficient dynamics, where we combine efficiency and dynamics, and especially in electric cars, uh, dynamics is in the genes of the electric drive, but the efficiency is important to get a good E-range, and just to emphasize one topic here, we have very good value on the um, aerodynamics we have a CV value of 0.23, which is better than uh, the um, former 5 Series. And uh, we did this with several measures, um, like closing underbody air vent, and also very nice looking air performance wheels. So beside the lightweight construction for the, for the car and the optimized aerodynamics, we also had a very deep look in the efficiency of the car. And there's a feature you know maybe from the i7 max range mode, which was built up mainly if you have, for example, just some kilometers remaining, like 50 kilometers E-range, you drive to a charging station and the station is broken, unfortunately, which sometimes happens. Then you just push the button here shown in efficiency mode, max range, and then you get up to 25% more E-range to go to the next charging station. How does it work? You get a limitation of high, the speed up to 90 kilometers per hour, reduce the power of the uh, engine, and we switch or, or reduce uh, um, things like uh, seat heating, steering wheel heating, or uh, uh, ventilation of the car. The same is also with the further refined e-routing. This is a very good feature because, for example, you get the minimum amount of charging stops when you make a navigation to a target, and you get a lot of information like how many uh, places are occupied online. So you see the changes 
you can switch over it is uh, occupied and that's a good thing and also for sure the predictive heat management so the battery if you have as a target a charging station uh, um, gets the optimum of the temperature it needs to take as much energy as possible. But focus today is driving dynamics and experience. So I hand over to Nikolai to give you more details about all of everything. So hi to all of you. Um, my name is Nikolai and I'm heading uh, the development of driving experience overall for all BMWs. It means the combination of driving dynamics and driver assistance or automated driving. So pure driving and intelligent driving. And uh, we combine these uh, with these words like boost, where you use the vehicle like a sports equipment, get the feedback if you are a good driver, steering behavior and all of that. And on the other hand, the ease mode. What means the ease mode? It means that the vehicle is so intelligent to support you with safety and uh, comfort in all the traffic situations on your driving journey where you want to do maybe other things like doing your breakfast in the vehicle or doing a, a call with colleagues and there you get the best support. And we always think out of the customer perspective to create that flow uh, between under-challenging and overstraining and uh, the question how can we support with all our systems and applications all of that in the best way and seamlessly. And if we look especially at the 5 Series and how can we create such an experience, we can first touch the base configuration of the chassis for the combustion engine. And what we see here is that uh, um, fitting to, to the segment of a 5 Series, we find a 5-link rear axle, a double wishbone front axle, and we start, uh, start with a steel suspension here and 70-inch um, uh, rear brakes. But you first see the directly control wheel slip limitation, which is a BMW unique feature for a faster reaction and a better traction um, uh, already with the software algorithms. Uh, coming back to more mechanical stuff, we have a, a good connection to the body um, with uh, additional constructions and, and mechanical parts for stiffness and tor torsion stiffness for all the agility you want to get from a BMW. Uh, what to mention in the base configuration in addition is uh, that we worked on the steering, especially with uh, the variable rack geometry on the one hand, but also the acoustic decoupling and uh, the decoupling of vibrations in the steering wheel while keeping that directness of steering and uh, feedback and precision um, you know from a BMW. To mention in addition, the integrated braking system, which is hydraulic, but brake by wire already in a BMW and is uh, very, um, um, very small in the need of package and with reduced weights, but on the other hand with a higher pressure ramp up um, uh, to create uh, the better feeling also of the braking pedal, um, which is so relevant for us because under uh, dynamic movement, it's very helpful not only if the steering gives the right feedback, but also the braking. And that combined with passive elements like uh, anti-roll bar already in the base configuration on the rear and, and the front axle. And if you think about all what you can imagine in a chassis in the top bookend of uh, the i5 M60 X drive, you can see it on that picture because it's much more content you can see here for the uh, electrified powertrains, the plug-in hybrids, but especially also the fully electric vehicle. We start with the rear axle air suspension already in the base configuration. We use the battery pack directly as chassis component. Why do we do that? Because all the crash requirements lead to a high stiffness uh, of the battery pack and that is useful for driving dynamics. And we have a direct connection uh, between the battery pack uh, and uh, the axles. And that leads to that behavior of agility while lane changing and maybe also on racetracks uh, like we want to get it also from a fully electric vehicle with a higher mass uh, of the vehicle. So what do we see in addition in, uh, in the setup of uh, uh, the M60? We see the integral active steering, means an enhanced front steering combined with the rear axle steering to get even more agility and benefits in maneuvering low speeds. And what you see again in addition is the active road stabilization at the front axle and at the rear axle means that we bring the system known from the 7 series, from the i7 and from the XM. Um, uh, handling all the forces uh, to yeah, 
actively stabilize, stabilize uh, the vehicle, not only in the vertical dimension, but also in the transverse dimension and to optimize sportiness and comfort without compromises in each of these dimensions. And uh, that is quite unique uh, what we can achieve with uh, sis this system in, in terms of experience. Maybe in addition to mention the air performance wheels with nice design and uh, to mention that uh, the wheel sizes are going up to 21 inch uh, in the 5 series um, then when the customer might get it. Just more technical stuff. Um, what we did with the 5 series this time, algorithms for the vertical dynamic management already in the base configuration and not with the active role stabilization. So we came from a more mathematical model to a more physical, real world orientated model, um, predicting the behavior of not only the damper and the, the suspension, but now in addition also the physical behavior of the passive anti roll uh, stabilizer. Uh, and that leads again to more sportiness, and more agility but again also with additional comfort compared to the previous version of the 5 Series. And so that's available to all of the 5 Series customers, uh, independent um, which uh, powertrain they choose uh, and uh, brings that business saloon uh, to a better behavior on the road. Now switching, but still keeping the focus on driving experience from driving dynamics and chassis setup to the sensor setup and the ECU and, and high-tech setup of uh, driver assistance. What we see here is that we have these ultrasonic sensors for parking and parking cameras, but maybe to focus on what we need for the driving features. We again see the 8 megapixel front camera, very um, high performance uh, camera uh, to handle long uh, distance recognition uh, for the driving feature. In addition to the camera, we have uh, a class, world class leading uh, full range front radar uh, with a range of up to 300 meter and the ability to differentiate between vertical levels. To know can you go under an obstacle like a bridge for example or is it a small obstacle you have to break for. But we don't want to talk too much about technical figures like tops and flops and ECU power. We always want to talk about the driver uh, experience and uh, so the software application and not only the software algorithms but the behavior in a lane change and all of that and the collaboration between the system and the driver is so relevant to bring that to a premium level. Um, that's why we focus on that and if we look what are the features we can um, concretely discuss on the 5 series. Then we could have shown a picture with more than 40 features uh, within driver assistance, but we clustered them in safety, driving and parking and what is the relevant delta compared to what you know from BMW so far. And on the safety, we have to mention that we are able to fulfill the NCAP 23 requirements already from the SOP onwards. Uh, why is that worth to mention? Because uh, the recognition of scooters and motorcycles, uh, the requirements uh, have risen and uh, we can fulfill that if a motorcycle drives uh, beside you, you, we can recognize that. We have an enhanced exit warning and uh, what's worth to mention in addition, the collision warning with brake, uh, if there's an oncoming traffic and you might not see that, uh, that is handled by the system and also emergency braking when reversing. Uh, that is, will be brought also to other BMW derivatives uh, uh, over the air um, afterwards, uh, but starts with a 5 Series this summer. Coming to driving, there we have to mention that we are able to offer the Highway Assistant. You might know already out of last year from the 7 Series, but also from the X7 out of the US and uh, uh, Canadian market. Um, we enhance that feature with, with a much more simplified user interaction. So a seamless activation of the feature. In addition, we combine it with an automated lane change. The system initiates the lane change and you only have uh, to approve it with your eyes and the movement of the head and no interaction of your hands. Means you can have a highway drive three or four hours without any interaction of your hand to the blinker, to the steering wheel, to whatever very attractive and very um, uh, comfort orientated. And this will be offered the first time also in Germany. So BMW got the approval as first OEM to offer that to German customers in addition to US and Canadian customers. Worth to mention also is the active cruise control with traffic light recognition known from BMW but really helpful for the customer to brake on a red light even if there's no vehicle uh, on the street to recognize this object. Um, and uh, on parking we have all um, level two offers you can imagine. 
means remote or in-car uh, automation for public parking, private parking, maneuvering, reversing, assistant, uh, anything you can imagine uh, with parking. And so maybe as last topic, a short video of that impressive highway assistant. After initial initiation of the level two system, the lane keeping and distance control, you can take your hands off and seamlessly the big plus, assisted plus feature um, with a big uh, benefit in comfort uh, takes over. And also the lane change approval is only done with the eye tracking if your head moves uh, to the side mirror and takes uh, the view in that. Uh, and that automatically the lane change is done. In addition to that, you can trigger the lane change anytime in the way you know from the past with a finger on the blinker, uh, but the system initiates also the lane change in the way that he knows if the obstacle in front of you or the vehicle in front of you is too slow for your uh, set speed. Uh, and so it's a very attractive feature, still level two, but with a very good availability, a big ODD means up to uh, um, 70 miles on the one hand uh, and on the other hand available on all highways based on the safety of HD maps which we use. So near to what we do for level three where we work on uh, this year to offer that in the seventh series in parallel. So, and worth to mention, in addition is that BMWs are driving quite well also on ice and snow. Maybe not possible to experience that today, but also today, you will have much fun in our vehicles and Freude forever or sheer driving pleasure, you will experience. So let's move to the cars.